So what I'm going to be doing is, well, first of all, I've looked online for a cable like this and how to make it and could not find anything. So I decided to make one myself and uh, hopefully it does good. I'm going to take this auxiliary wire and I'm going to connect it to this USB for my cousin since she needs one. I'm the guy to do it. So anyways, it's pretty simple I guess. Uh, you just know, gotta know how to connect uh, your hot wire and your ground. I've already got this one stripped out. Red and black on the USB. Uh, next, I'm gonna take this auxiliary wire. Probably take about, I don't know, this much of it. <coughs> some tools real quick. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip this out. Use the trusty old lighter. Be careful not to burn yourself. And, uh, get inside here, inside the auxiliary. Once you get inside, on. we got three wires. Uh, left wire, right, uh, right wire, and a ground. So, I'm pretty sure these two, the white and the red ones, are hot. And the ground is your black wire. And we're just going to strip these away and connect the white wire and the red wire together. USB cords and your auxiliary wires. And you put them together. See how that works? Your red and your black, your red and white, and then your black and black. And together like that. Extra bend on each side. 
and then tape them up like this. That way it's still nice and sturdy. We have our insulator, you can use it, you don't have to use the insulator if you don't want to. That's actually the first time I've left it on. Take that bad boy off. <coughs> don't really need it. Alright, so now we take our tape. All right, so what I've got here, remember we made this, right? We made this right here. I have this battery. I'm going to connect it to my computer to show you that it in fact does work.